C++ introduces the concept of call by reference. We already talked about call by value and call by reference in terms of C, but in C we had to use pointers to manipulate the data. Here is now a more straightforward syntactic sugar way of passing data by reference. To, to do this, you have in a function declaration to use the ampersand. So here we say count is a reference to an integer. So what does it mean? It means count is now an alias for the data. So for example, if I have a function func and I take x, well, let's say take it y, y to be a reference to an integer, I can change y to be 4, for example. And now in my main function, I have a variable x, and I can call this function with x, but x is now taken as a reference. So that means this variable y here is now an alias to the original data that is in variable x. And now when I change y to be 4, x will be pretty much changed to be 4. So if I would do c out x afterwards, I would print 4. Yeah, in C, what we had to do, we had to make pointers, yeah, like so, and then we had to give the address to the function, and that was the equivalent idea of call by reference in C. So, it's really the same as pointers, and under the hood, it's implemented with the same way, so it uses pretty much pointers. But the idea is that it's syntactic sugar, so as it can be accessed as it would be an object and not a pointer, it makes our life as programmers sometimes a bit more comfy. So now as a little task for the next few minutes, please check out trying to write a function that is a swap function. And what should the swap function do? Well, it should swap the values of the two arguments given of two integers. You may remember the swap function that we had in C. If not, try to reconstruct it from the pointer idea. And I'll show you the screen again. So here, this was a pointer, yeah? I could set a value wherever y points to, to a certain value. And uh, the same function can be written in C, plus plus. And that's basically your task. Now pause the video and then I will reveal the answer. Welcome back. So here is now the solution. I hope you succeeded with it. Um, so when we call the function swap, we can give it two arguments a and b, two integers here. And in the declaration of swap in the signature, we take two call by reference arguments so first and second are both references to integers. And now I could need a temporary variable, copying one of them into temp. Then this value that I just copied can be overwritten with the second value, and the second value can become our temp. And that's it. Yeah, in C, you had to use um, pretty much something like this. So when to say int temp is star y, then star y is equal to star x, and star x equals temp. Yeah, that would be the swap function in C. So, of course, whenever we introduce uh, the idea of call by reference, call by value, with multiple ways of calling a function, we, we have some ideas when to use which. Very good practice is to pass small objects that should not be changed by value. What are small objects? Integers, float, primitive data types, maybe smaller tuples and so on. Things that, that need to be changed can be passed by reference or pointers if you prefer them. Large objects that should not be changed can be passed as const reference. So you can have something like nana x, for example, is an reference to a constant integer or an array of constant integers and so forth. So functions that are to be called with elementary data types 
or initialized values, they need to be const. So let me illustrate this here. Let's go back to our original function. So I, it's not allowed to call func here with value of 5. Why not? Because 5 is not able to be a reference to an integer. 5 is a specific value. Yeah? To make this example work, this is what it says over here, you have to make it like constant. Well, of course, then I cannot change it, which is another problem, but at least I can pass it over as a reference, as you can see over here, without a problem. It works now if I pass x to be 5, or if I pass value 5 directly. Yeah? So be careful, that's all I would say here. You will understand this more with more um, practice that you'll get during the tutorials. But be careful that you understand what is a reference and what is a value, because these are common errors. Yeah? When you use it, when you write an argument and the formal parameters, you miss the ampersand, then you have a pass by value. If you add an ampersand, then you have pass by reference. When you debug a program that does not work correctly, it's very easy to overlook this, right? So if I think again about my swap function, and here I would have missed the ampersand and I just have a, a x and y, then basically this function is not able to ever swap my data. Right, so it will only change the values in the right in the current stack frame as we talked about the stack. 